Hey guys, Rumble Super Saiyan here, back again. This time it's kind of like a vlog slash um, what's going on with YouTube for Rumble Super Saiyan. Uh, so I want to talk about Vainglory first. We'll talk about that. Then the other news is going to be about my other channel. But anyways, so Vainglory first. Uh, I did announce on my Twitter. If you guys want to follow my Twitter, please do so. Uh, that's the best way to communicate with me directly uh, and also have the quickest updates of what's happening, whether I released a video or if I am planning on doing a certain event or if I'm streaming soon, that kind of stuff. So follow me on Twitter if you haven't already. But anyways, so I did announce on Twitter that I'll be doing double uploads Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, I was contemplating it, whether I wanted to do it, and I got a consensus of a bunch of my followers on Twitter seeing if I should do it, and the majority said yes. That'd be awesome. So I was like, okay, we'll have a run, we'll have a test phase of this. So this Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'll be doing double uploads and seeing how it goes. Um, the big the big thing for me is I want to make sure that it's content that you guys are going to watch. If I'm going to be doubling up on my work, I want to make sure that it's effective not only for myself, but also for you guys more importantly. Um, I don't want to put out too much content where it kind of sways you guys away from my channel saying, uh, he's always notifying me with all these videos that I can't even watch because, you know, I watch one, but I can't watch another because it's just so much time. Um, and if I start to see, like, you know, I normally get, like, anywhere between fifteen to 20,000 views on a video now. Um, if I start getting way less, like 6,000 per video, um, and it ends up being, you know, like it actually is more harm than good or just too much content for you guys, then I might sway away from it. But this is kind of a test, test phase to see if it works out. We want to see that, you know, obviously the view count will probably be lower, but I want to make sure that it's, it's enough for you guys to justify watching another video. Um, and please feel free to express in the comments uh, in this video what you feel about the whole concept of double uploads on the weekends only. So it's not going to be Monday through Thursday. It'll just be Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday through Thursday will be daily uploads. Um, but yeah, so feel free. Uh, also, I mean, if you don't like it, don't dislike the video. <laughs> Still give me a thumbs up, you know, at least I appreciate it. Uh, but just if you have concerns, put it in the chat and not display that with a thumbs down. <laughs> um, because thumbs downs, they hurt my feelings, you know? Um, but yeah, so... That's what that, that's what's going on with Vainglory, and status on the draw my life for Vainglory. It is in the works. I worked on it for two hours the other day, trying to get a lot of the drawings done, trying to get the whole uh, the script planned out and how I'm going to say it. I don't want to reveal too many personal things, but I also want to reveal some of the more um, if tidbits of information about me that can be relevant to you guys without re re revealing my identity or where I was born, you know, that kind of stuff, you know, um, so I got to be careful about that. Um, because in reality, YouTube is, it's a great place to communicate and have a community, but it's also a very, you have to be very careful with what kind of information you put out to the thousands of people that watch you. Um, cause you never know one person might be that crazy person. Uh, <laughs> you know, you never know. Um, you guys see comments in chat all the time and there's always like some crazy person going off on a rant for no reason. Uh, even though I love all of my viewers, uh, equally, sometimes it gets a little excessive and I have to like delete comments because <laughs> this is like, okay, I don't want that kind of environment in my chat, but, um, it's hard to catch all of them. But anyway, so that is what's going on with Vainglory and the Drama Life video. Um, Vainglory is at my, my Vingler channel is at almost 58,000 subscribers. Freaking crazy. I never would have imagined that my channel a year and like what, three months ago would have been at 58,000 subscribers at this point. Like I, when I was playing Heroes of Warden Chaos, uh, <laughs> on my other channel, I transitioned over to Vainglory because I thought it had way more potential and the game actually had some kind of direction that I was uh, wishing existed on a mobile tablet and Vainglory brought that to the table. So that's why I transitioned to Vainglory. And when I made Vainglory's uh, channel, I was like, you know what, I'm going to run a test and see if I do a few videos and see if it's okay. Um, and if I get a few views, I'll continue to do it. And I started getting more and more views. And eventually SMC contacted me and says, Hey, we like your content. Here's some featurings. And that just exponentially grew my channel at such a fast rate. I was just like, Holy crap. Like I was at like 600 subs, I think. 
Vainglory featured me. I went up to like 1,200 subs, and I'm like, oh my god. I was like having a mental orgasm. <laughs> but yeah, so I was like pretty crazy about that because I've never had that much growth spontaneously. Um, but yeah, so that was pretty awesome. And then ever since then, uh, you can pretty much say SMC set me up for a channel to be successful um, halfway. The other part was obviously my part, having a personality or just having a type of gameplay that you guys find valuable and obviously i i have achieved that and i appreciate all the support you guys have given me on my vanguard channel you guys are amazing without you guys my career would not be what it is right now i'd still be at target working as a cashier hating my life working with my mother <laughs> because my mom my mom's a manager at the target nearby and she hired me because <laughs> we have different last names uh but yeah so uh that would have been my life but thank you guys for allowing me to progress to where i am now um, and I just cannot say enough how much I appreciate you guys and how much I love you all, to be honest. I mean, uh, I'm being brutally honest. Like, I love all of you guys because you guys changed my life, literally. Um, this is what I wanted. This is like my dream job. As a kid, I grew up playing video games, uh, and I always wanted to work in that field, video games. I didn't know exactly how, whether it be an animator or a programmer, uh, but I wanted to do something or even an artist of some sort. And YouTube didn't really exist so much when I was a kid, um, or at all. Um, it didn't exist like until like what, 12 years ago, 10 years ago. So uh, I was already out of high school by then. <laughs> but uh, YouTube, and then with you guys being around, supporting me, you guys have made my life just amazing. Um, I I cannot say enough. Anyways, I'll, I can go on forever just saying thank you, thank you, thank you, but. On to other news. Um, so, I know I mentioned a couple times in other videos, like other vlogs, I guess you would call it, um, where I mentioned I wanted to do other games on my other channel, Rumbly Superset. Uh, that was my original channel, which I did an assortment of mobile games, uh, which was okay. It grew my channel very, very slowly. I think at a year mark, I had like 300 subs. Um, and I was just doing like random gaming on, on mobile devices. Uh, and then I started playing, you know, other game loft games, uh, Order and Chaos and Heroes of Order and Chaos, and I grew my channel to about seven thousand uh, over the course of the next year. Um, and then I kind of stopped because Vanglory came around, and I put all my focus into Vanglory, and that's all I wanted to focus on. And now that I have, you know, some some expertise in this area and I can be a lot more efficient at what I do, I've always wanted to start back up Rumbly Superset. But I just didn't know the direction to go. And I wanted to do generalized gaming because, honestly, that's the most potential for a successful channel in the future. It has the most life um, for a channel. Because having an assortment of games means that whenever there's a new game, you can just do gameplay on it and your channel flourishes because of it. Um, whereas if you're doing a specific game like Vainglory, I hope Vainglory will be around forever. Which I think, for the most part, it will. They're probably at some point, maybe 15 years from now, release Vanglory 2 <laughs> or something or have a different game by their company, which I'm sure is going to be amazing just as much, uh, which I'll probably bring to Vanglory channel at that point if it's a Super, or super not super, uh, super Evil Mega Corp game. Um, but that's, that's, the mind, that's the mentality of having a, a set game for a channel uh, is you got to know that it may not last indefinitely on like a generalized gaming channel so that's what i wanted to do on rumbly superset but then when i started doing it as you guys saw i just cannot handle the workload those games require a lot of time spent um, meaning each game was about 20 to 30 minutes long each video i mean and i could shorten it but it just didn't give the the essence of a full gameplay if i shortened it too much so i didn't um and because of that it required me to put different amounts of focus or the same amount of focus in each game individually, and it just became too much. Like, I was playing GTA 5, I was playing Witcher 3, I was playing Fallout, um, I was playing uh, League of Legends, and all those games take immense amount of time to be good at it, um, or to know what you're doing at the very least. So, like, for instance, League of Legends, you have to be good to have decent videos. Well, you need practice, which requires lots of hours and hours and hours, which I don't have. Whereas gta 5 you know you, you don't know what you're doing as soon as you get in you need to get around spend a few hours on the game here and there and figure out what to do next for your next video and that just spends a lot more time that i don't have uh, and so on and so forth for all the other titles i was playing um so it just wasn't gonna work 
at least not for now. Um, and so I've been looking around for another game similar to where I can be passionate about it, like I was Vainglory, and just have one direct uh, focus on that game on that channel. Uh, so I went around, I was looking at, you know, Super Senso, which is an amazing game. Check it out if you haven't already. Uh, but I just didn't feel um, the passion with it. It's a cool game. I enjoy playing it, but I just didn't feel that I would want to make a channel on it. Um, and so I scratched that idea. Uh, and then I've been looking around, you know, other games on mobile. I even went on my phone and was like, okay, App Store um, adventure games or uh, strategy games, whatever. And obviously, I did try to do Hearthstone, but again, that's another game that took too much time invested because there's just tons and tons of cards to get. Uh, and there's so much in depth to that game that it's hard to uh, be relevant in terms of being good at the game without spending hours and hours and hours of practicing. Um, whereas I was told of Clash Royale by Ben Tim One. This is where it's going, guys. It's Clash Royale. Um, and so... Uh, my big thing was I wanted to make sure I was passionate. Well, Ben says, well, this game is it has some elements of Vainglory. It's not necessarily a MOBA, uh, but it has like like the lane. It, it has a concept of pushing the lane to get to the main building, uh, but there's also a time limit, uh, so you're not like forced to stay in this match for hours, you know, or like 30 minutes, whatever it is. So these, these matches are quick, precise and fun you know they're very and then the, each segment of the match gets in, increasingly more hectic because the elixir or the resource you use to spawn your your troops increases at a faster rate at certain intervals in the match but anyways so that's how that game was when he was describing it to me and i was just like okay and it's kind of like hearthstone because there's cards too and i was like hmm so vainglory and hearthstone together but made to be fast-paced uh, and not so much in depth, but just as fun. I was like, interesting. I was like, so I, I'll try it out. I downloaded a Canadian, or I downloaded the app in the Canadian store, made a Canadian iTunes account, and downloaded the app there. Uh, and I played it. And I was just like, okay, first match was pretty cool. It, it, I liked it. And then I started playing more and more and more. And I was just like, this game is pretty addicting. And by the time I was realizing I was addicted was... It was the night I downloaded it. I played it for like an hour after I downloaded it. I put it down. I went to bed where I laid, I laid in bed at around 12 or 11.30. And I realized it was 3 a.m. And I was still playing. <laughs> and I was like, and I looked at the time like, what? It's already 3? I was like, oh, God, I need to go to bed. And so that's when I realized, okay, if it's a game I'm going to be passionate about, this is the one to be. Because I don't spend hours and hours on a game like that unless I'm very, very passionate about it. Um, and so, and then I saw the potential for the types of content you could put out for it. Different types of deck, you know, grinding through the trophies, uh, counter building to decks, that kind of stuff. Um, and just, you know, maybe like overviews of what's good for certain cards, you know, different comps, different combos, um, that kind of thing. How to, how to push. All that, that mumbo jumbo that comes with those types of games, just like Vainglory. Um, so that's when I decided I'm going to tweet about it on Twitter. It's like, hey guys, I like this game. I may make a channel on it. And people are thumbsing me up. Some were saying, don't do it. Supercell games suck. And I was just like, well, you know, the majority of people think it's, it's a cool idea. And I think it is as well. And I enjoy it. And. I think that you guys can enjoy the content if you guys are playing the game too. Now, if you guys don't like the game, that's fine. Uh, I don't request that you subscri subscribe to our channel uh, because that's going to be a Clash Royale. Um, but if you like that type of game uh, or just, you know, me on a personal standpoint, then I'll be there on that channel as well. Um, I've already recorded a week's worth of videos. Um, and that's on top of the videos that are already released. So I already released three videos. Um, so it's been three days so far where I've released daily. And it's been the um, just different types of decks, I'm, which I'm so, so first series I started. Then tomorrow is going to be my first episode of Arena Grind, which I go from Arena three to Arena four. Um, and then as that series progresses, it goes up to Arena seven, which is a legendary arena. Um, but yeah, so you guys can see my progress from the beginning. Uh, well, roughly the beginning. And then obviously I'll be doing different types of uh, series like counter building or 
um, how to counter certain decks, that kind of thing. Uh, so that's what I'll be doing on that channel, guys. Clash Royale is definitely something I want to see stay. Uh, and it's it's going to be amazing. It's going to be awesome. I have just as much passion with this game as I did Vanguard when I first started uh, in terms of how I feel about when I play it. Um, I'm like, dude, this game's going to go far. Um, and, you know, Clash Royale, from what I understand, they're shooting for esports as well. So there's going to be a competitive scene. From what I understand, um, or at least I would assume, uh, a lot of it, how it's going to work is I'm thinking it's going to be where... It's 1v1, obviously, and they would have it to where everything's balanced. No, I mean, it's not all about how much you paid into the game for the competitive scene. It's you can run your deck, uh, they can run their deck, and all the levels are non-existent for each card. It's just, this is how much this card costs, this is what it does, um, and that's how it's going to be in a tournament, I assume. Otherwise, the tournaments will be fairly money-oriented, um, and I don't think they're going to do that. So... Definitely look out for that. I'm sure it's going to happen. From what I understand, esports is on the horizon for it. So uh, it's going to be pretty huge when they release globally and also when they start doing tournaments and stuff like that. It's going to be pretty cool. Uh, so definitely check out the gaming fan already. You have to download a an account, at least that I know of. Canada has the game in their app store. So you can, down, you can, you can make an iTunes Canadian uh, account. Uh, you just go to your ID, log out, and then make a new one, and you can select Canada. You can download it from there. Um, you just don't put in a credit card. Um, you just put none. And then uh, if you want to purchase gem gems, you have to do it in a kind of roundabout way until they fully release, which I think is next month. Um, but, yeah, so you have to basically go back to your Canadian account, sign, uh, look at the info, and change the region to U.S., then you contact uh, Apple support and say, hey, I can't make in-app purchases on my account in this game. And then they will change it to where it allows you to do so with your U.S. credit card. Um, so, yeah, that's how you do that. Uh, but before you contact support, make sure you, you change your region to U.S. on your Canadian account and enter in your credit information, your credit card information. And then you contact support and say all that stuff. Anyways... Definitely check out the channel. Subscribe if you like it. Let me know in those videos if you like this content, what you want to see, what decks you want to see. Uh, uh, just basically, if you're enjoying the content, give me a thumbs up and a comment saying, awesome, you're cool. Um, hey, uh, you're amazing, dude. <laughs> just positive com comments make me pretty uh, choked up with emotion. Uh, thumbs down kind of hurt my feelings, so don't do that. <laughs> but yeah, so definitely check it out. Uh, and that is it for the vlog. I don't really have much more to say other than say thank you again for being amazing. You guys are awesome. And I'm looking forward to this next year in Vainglory and now Clash Royale. Uh, see you guys next time. Later!